So, Andrew, you're going to take in a little Friday night football this week and check yeah. out a couple studs there, a couple cornerbacks who are pretty good, both top 10 in the nation. Yeah, so I'll be out at the um, South Oak Cliff spring game on Friday night. Um, saw a couple good ones on uh, Thursday night, too. I was out at the Denton Geyer spring game catching up with uh, um, Peyton Bowen, who's committed to Notre Dame, and Ryan Yates. And um, they've got another good cornerback, too, in the 2024 class, Eli Bowen, who had uh, 10 interceptions as a sophomore, which is pretty unbelievable. He returned three of them for a touchdown at the at the highest classification in Texas. So um you know pretty impressive stuff from him and um you know he's he's a he's a really good player and then on uh friday night i'll see a&m commit javon thomas and and malik muhammad as well and really interested to see especially javon thomas because you he, he's a guy that does so much with the ball in his hands it's not just as a cornerback you know it's it, it'll be interesting to see how they structure the spring game though because schools try to limit the contact and limit returns. So you're not going to see him returning punts and kicks and things like that. But, um, you know, just to see him out there and, and see him move and, and all that will be really good. Cause he was, he was limited a little bit as, as a junior. Um, and then Malik Muhammad is obviously a guy that's, that's a coveted target. A&M, Texas, Alabama, Miami are some of the schools in the mix for him. And, um, you know, he's kind of, I think, it's going to be interesting. He's kind of looked at maybe a summer timeline and, and we'll see if he ends up keeping to that, but he's, he's another one. When you talk about official visits, he looks like he's starting to kind of zero in on maybe some official visits. And um, it sure would be interesting that Brian and I were talking about this, my coworker yesterday about he's a guy that would be a really interesting kind of target to watch on the official visits, given all the Alabama, Texas A&M stuff on, and what the end of the message will stuff will be of, on those two schools, if he's heading to the, to, to the, to the other one next and, and just how that would all work out. Two more top 100 players considering Texas A&M, of course, Thomas, uh, hard commit. Uh, we would think that he would follow through with signing in December. Yep. Malik Muhammad's got a lot of options, but uh, the lean, according to the two, four, seven sports crystal ball says Texas A&M right now. Yeah. All right. I think, I think, I think A&M right now would be in a good spot. Alabama is certainly, I wouldn't count out Alabama at all, and and Texas is trying to work their way into it as well. And I know they got him on campus early this spring, and and are hoping to get him back on an official visit as well. So um, he's got some ties to Texas as well. But I think right now Texas A and M is is kind of in a strong spot, but but still a lot more to happen there. Texas historically an amazing football brand and a lot going for them. Facilities, Austin, Texas, all of that business. But my goodness, if I'm a top player. I got to see something out of that program before I'd sign. If I could go anywhere um, with, with the prospect of going there and winning five or six ball games a year, I just, uh, and, and no players uh, selected in the NFL draft this past year. I just, I, and I do think when you talk to a lot of kids and they kind of say, okay, we want to watch them in the fall. Like we've, you know, they've, 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 they've made all these moves in the transfer portal. They've, they've made, you know, they got Quinn Ewers now they got Isaiah Nair. they got, you know, you know, they kind of went in there, got a Jai yeah. Hall. Jai Hall, yeah. Jai Hall. Now we want to see, okay, what do you, what do you kind of look like? And, um, you know, it, it, it would have been interesting if they got Jordan Addison, but, um, you know, USC kind of came out with him. But, um, you know, I think schools, I think recruits do kind of want to see, okay, let's see what you do now heading into year two because if you if year two doesn't go well, then you start to think, okay, well, what's Sark's? you know, is he going to be like the other ones that kind of get three to four years and then are out? So, um, you know, I think, I think kids are going to be paying close attention there. Yeah. All that's going to help them. No question. Those are some talented players, but they also need some guys, uh, to block <laughs> that's yep, going to help exactly. and stop <laughs> exactly. you guys on defense. And so the offensive line was not good last year. The offensive no, line was not, it was not a pretty fight. Hasn't been in a long time. 